on system design. This video is going to be about Twitter design. So uh, oftentimes in interviews, you know, uh, people ask questions like design Twitter, design WhatsApp, design Uber. So in one of my previous video, I have covered Uber design. You know, you can look into that also. Uh, let us start with requirements. So whenever, whenever you start interview, uh, usually you should try to know that what are the features your interviewer want you to focus on. So I'm assuming some of the requirements here. One of the key requirements in designing Twitter is that I should be able to post messages. I should be able to tweet. Uh, you know, I should be able to see the messages from the people whom I follow. That is called home timeline. I should be able to see my messages, whatever I have posted. It's called uh, profile timeline. And I should be able to make a search on a topic and uh, see a timeline of messages uh, about that particular topic. And Twitter should also give me uh, trending topics that what are the hashtags about which everybody is talking. What are the topics uh, about which everybody is talking currently on Twitter. So it should give me information about trending topics. Uh, let us understand what is the scale that we are talking about. Uh, these stats are a bit old, uh, but uh, you know, it will give you a bit of idea that uh, what is the scale Twitter deals with. Twitter has more than 300 million users. Uh, you know, every second there are 600 tweets. So every second you are writing 600 tweets of data to your system, to Twitter systems. Uh, and there are more read requests there are 600,000 tweets per second uh, uh, which are being read by Twitter users. So as you can see from these stats Twitter is more of a read heavy application. So uh, people who are following their uh, uh, celebrities or uh, you know uh, following other people they would like to know what others are tweeting and all that. So Twitter is more read heavy application. So uh, this will help us you know design our system in better way. Okay, let us now think about the components, uh, you know, before getting into technology, before getting into any details of design, we should understand that what are the components that we need to make an application like Twitter. So we'll have a user and uh, user will be accessing our system using web. We need a service to write tweets. So, you know, users should be able to post tweets and uh, we, our system should be storing those tweets. Then we need a service to show home, line, home timeline to user. As soon as user goes to his home, he should be able to see all the tweets which are sent by people whom he is following. If he goes to his profile page, user should be able to see all the tweets which he has posted in history. So basically profile timeline service we need. We also need a search timeline service. If I am searching for a specific topic, I should get all the tweets, uh, you know, in a time, timeline manner. Uh, you know, there should be a service of that sort. So to enable this search timeline, we'll need a search service which will have access to all the historical tweets which has been made and it will help us populate this uh, search timeline. We need one more uh, component which is trend finder based on all the tweets which is which are coming in. I should be able to find out what are the what was the hottest topic in last one hour. So during election, you know, uh, you will say that, okay, most of our tweets are coming about election. During, say, Football World Cup, most of our tweets will be coming about Football World Cup. So you would like to know the topics which are trending. Okay, so we should be able to store our tweets. 
so we need a story system and we would like to do some analytics that what are people posting uh, how users are using our system so i would like to do some offline analytics so you know i need some component for uh, analytics also uh, my system is read heavy i am reading a lot of data so rather than always accessing it from storage which can be very slow and very costly i would like to have a cache mechanism on which i can readily and very fastly read the data and serve as much as users as possible so i need a caching mechanism and i will need a service to manage that cache uh, so that as as the new messages are coming in i could update any uh, any data that was existing in the cache so that my users are always getting latest data from the cache so at high level these are the components that we need in our solution now we'll get we'll try to get into each component one by one and we'll see that what is the technology that is required for each component let us first look at profile timeline on profile timeline i want to show all the messages which are posted by me what i mean is uh, if i go to my profile page i want to see all the messages which are posted by me so uh, i need two tables for this uh, i need user table and i need tweets table from user table i'll take all the tweets for that user or from user table i'll take the user id and from tweets table i'll take all the tweets and text for that particular user id this is how i will do it in a uh, traditional way now as we all know that uh, twitter is a read heavy application there are a lot of reads that happen on twitter so i would like to make it more fast so what i can do is i can pre calculate the results and i can store it in cache for every user i can calculate the tweets that he is posting and uh, uh, i can store it in cache so whenever i need whenever a user visits his to his profile timeline i can just query the record for that particular user and show it on uh, his profile timeline if there is any update if he is posting any new message uh, then i can just add it in the starting of this list this can be a hash map where key is the user id and value is a stack and uh, latest tweet always comes on the top i hope this helps okay home timeline is a bit complex than uh, uh, the user timeline in home timeline i want to show all the tweets uh, which uh, user a user might be following other users so all the tweets of uh, other users whom he is following will be shown in the uh, home timeline so uh, how will i get the results for home timeline so i will have three tables user table tweets table and follow table first i will join user table and follow table i'll get for a particular user i'll get all the people whom he is following then for all the following uh, people whom he is following i'll pick the tweets from the tweet table this is how i will do so i am doing multiple joins here uh, for a read heavy application this is going to be a very costly operation so here it makes more sense that i use cache again i pre calculate the results and store it somewhere so what i am going to do for every user i have on my system i am going to pre calculate his home timeline by first joining it with follow users uh, user and follow table and then uh, the results will be joined with uh, tweets table so whatever i will get as the results i am going to uh, store in the uh, cache so this is my home timeline for every user now home timeline as you know keeps on getting updated very frequently so how will i do this so twitter uses something called pan out approach what it does you have a user he posts a message suppose that user is being followed by many people as soon as he post a message all the people who are following that user 
uh, his their home timeline will be updated. So you see here, as soon as he posted the message, that tweet is going into all his followers home timeline and being added in the front. So we are having uh, you uh, having all the home timelines of followers being updated like this. This is called pan out approach, which Twitter uses. Last one is search timeline. So uh, Twitter uses early bird uh, as a framework uh, for managing its search. So early bird is a system which is uh, based on Lucene. Uh, if you are aware of Lucene, Lucene is an indexing engine. Uh, basically, all your tweets are indexed and uh, inverted index is created. Let us understand what is inverted index if you are not aware of it. Suppose these are the tweets that I have. Uh, this is system design tutorial. One more system design tutorial. How many system design questions? So if I create a inverted index, it will look something like this. So for every word, it will contain that word and list of uh, tweet IDs in which that word is appearing. So a sophisticated uh, inverted index can store the text of tweet also, uh, tweet also in 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 the uh, in the index. So as a user search for design, so you can just look up in this table, this index uh, table. And say that okay for design that word is occurring in T T1, T2, and T3 tweet. Uh, if I'm searching system, then I or tutorial, I know that uh, tutorial word is occurring in T1 and T2 tweets. So this kind of helps in uh, you know making search very fast. This is how inverted index works. Uh, so early word is a system being used by uh, Twitter to uh, make search possible. Okay, so we have covered the timeline part. We now know how timeline is being uh, built by Twitter. And uh, we also know the service part. Let us build the other components. Let us understand how other components will function. Good. Okay, so we have uh, a web layer. This is our web layer. So we have a user who is accessing our system. We have already discussed about uh, timeline, so I am not going into details of that thing again. Uh, so I am representing all the timeline services as one. We have already discussed also about our search service. Cool. So now let us see what happens as soon as a message is received. So, so there, can, there is a service uh, like Kafka. I hope you everybody have used it. Uh, so Kafka can be used to get the messages which are being posted over uh, our Twitter. Now these messages, these messages can be consumed by multiple users. One of the users can be our NoSQL database where all the messages can be stored. Uh, other consumer will be our cash manager. Cash manager will take the message and it will make sure that our cash is up to date. So that our timelines can show the latest data. So this is what cash manager will do. Now cash manager will also help timeline. So that's how the timeline will get the latest data in simple words. Okay. So we want to build a trending service also, right? So we want to see what are the most famous hashtags in last one hour. 
uh, in last one month what are the most uh, you know uh, famous topic what is the latest topic so all those kind of trending thing that is one feature that we want on uh, twitter so for that we can have a streaming service so now there are many streaming platform blink is there storm is there kafka stream is there spark streaming is there so twitter uses storm but you can use uh, spark streaming also or blink also or kafka stream also so um, as you discuss this topic during an interview your interviewer will get into detail of how uh, spark streaming is different from a uh, storm or how spark streaming is different from blink i have a different video on this topic i recommend you to see that video to answer that kind of questions so this is how uh, 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 our uh, trending thing will work cool so this is uh, this is the design system design at high level for twitter uh, i hope this was useful for you if you have any questions please post it in the comment section i'll be very happy to answer your questions thank you